Right, the next story is called The Shopping Basket by John Burn Burningham. Here we go. It says, tea time is looming and Stephen is sent out to the corner shop. Along the way, he meets several shady characters who are only too willing to lighten Stephen's basket by helping themselves to his shopping. Only by his quick wits can Stephen outsmart the bullies and save his tea. Oh. So this is a journey to the shops. I wonder if you can even maybe write a list of what he's supposed to buy from the shops. Pop down to the shop for me, will you, Stephen, and buy six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts, and a packet of crisps for your tea, and leave this note at number 25. So Stephen set off for the shop. Oh, so this is the beginning of your map, so can you draw Stephen's house? And on the way to the shop, carrying his basket, he passed number 25. You could draw that first, couldn't you? Number 25. A gap in the railings. He could draw some railings and one with a big gap in it. The full litter basket. You can draw a big overflowing litter basket. The men digging up the pavement. The house where the nasty dog lives. You could draw a little dog kennel. And arrived at the shop. So then you can draw the shop at the end of the the end of your map. He bought the six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts, and one packet of crisps for his tea. But when he came out of the shops, oh, there was a bear. There he is. Oh no! I want those eggs, said the bear, and if you don't give them to me, I will hug all the breath out of you. Well, if I threw an egg up into the air, said Stephen, you are so slow, I bet you couldn't even catch it. Me? Slow? said the bear. Well, let's have a look. Can you see this picture where there was the six eggs? But there's now... One, two, three, four, five eggs. One's gone away because Stephen has thrown it into the air. Oh, and it has landed splat on the bear's face. Wasn't very nice how the bear was asking for that egg, was it? And Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But, so look back on your map now. Where should we come to? When he got to the house where that nasty dog lived, there was a monkey. Give me those bananas, said the monkey, or I'll pull your hair. Oh, that's not very nice. If I throw a banana onto that kennel, you're so noisy, I bet you couldn't get it without waking the dog. Me? Noisy, said the monkey. We'll have a look at the shopping list again. We're missing, aren't we, one egg because he's thrown it up for the bear. And now we did have five bananas, but one has been thrown. So how many have we got now? One, two, three, four bananas. Oh dear, the monkey's woken the dog. So Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But when he got to where the men were digging up the pavement, there was a kangaroo. Oh dear. These animals are rather badly behaved. Give me those apples you have in your basket, said the kangaroo. If I threw an apple over that tent, you're so clumsy, I bet you couldn't even jump over to get it. Me? Clumsy, said the kangaroo. Oh, so he had four apples and he's just thrown one over the tent. So how many will he have left? One, two, three. Oh dear, he is clumsy. He's knocked over the people digging up the road. And Stephen hurried home carrying his basket. But when he got to the litter basket, there was a goat. Eh. Give me the oranges you have in your basket, said the goat, or I'll butt you over the fence. <gasps> If I put an orange in that litter basket, you're so silly, I bet you couldn't even get it out. Me? Silly, said the goat. 
Right, so there was three oranges and one has just been put into the basket. So there are how many left? Two. So Stephen, oh yes, look at that. He's got his horns hooked in the waste basket. So Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But when he got to the gap in the railing, there was a pig. Give me those donuts, said the pig, or I'll squash you against the railings. Well, if I put the donuts through the gap in the railings, I bet you couldn't squeeze through and get them. Have a look. So there's two donuts, and he's just put one through the gap. So there's only one left. Oh, and he's got stuck. Mm -hmm. So Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But when he got to number 25, there was an elephant. Ooh, give me those crisps, said the elephant, or I'll whack you with my trunk. If I put these crisps through that letter basket, your trunk is so short, I bet you couldn't even reach it. <gasps> my trunk? Short, said the elephant. Oh, look at his list. There was a packet of crisps at the bottom of his list, but it's gone now because he's had to put it through the letter basket. And, oh dear, he's got his trunk caught in the letter box. And Stephen hurried on home carrying his basket. But when he got to his own house, there was his mother. Where on earth have you been, Stephen? I only asked you to get six eggs, five bananas, four apples, three oranges for the baby, two donuts and a packet of crisps. How could it have taken you so long? Wow, because he had a, quite a bit of an adventure, didn't he?